I mean, every time I turn on this camera, this is how I look. At this point, this is like install number three. But we're here and we're ready. So get into them. If you're not into them, what are you doing? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I know I'm bummed. Straight into this video, I have this beautiful unit right here. Right here. I want to say that's how they say they name. Look at the curls. My hair, my shirt is blended in. But we'll get into the curls. So I just received that unit from Adhere Hair. They sent me a 26 inch 13 by four Jerry Curl wig. It didn't come in a pack with anything besides the netted uh, wig cap as well as two adjustable straps so that you can wear it glueless. I've already bleached the knots off camera as well as plucked it. I do have a video on how I bleach and pluck knots. I'll have that uh, either up here on the screen somewhere and it will also be linked in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So inside of the wig cap, it has uh, adjustable straps as well as two cones in the side and one come in the front and one come in the back. Typical unit, nothing special. It's definitely big head friendly, that's for sure. So last time I put my wig on, I was kind of upset that I put the wig cap on a little bit too far up. But this time, I think I put that wig cap on Perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and tint the inside of this uh, lace using my foundation. A little bit darker than my skin tone. So I went ahead and tint the inside of the lace. And I also took off the, um, these are the inside clips. I took off the two side ones and the one that, that be right here. I left the back one on and then I secured the, um, adjustable straps. I am going to cut the ear tabs so it's nice and secured on both sides just gonna pull it back we're gonna do three layers of this boho active glue so i've already cleaned around my hairline before i put my wig cap on I put on the uh, skin protectant, so it's no worries. I went ahead and secured this lace now I did the three layers let them dry clear and I used my comb this is the first time I ever using my comb I felt like it actually melted the lace a little bit better now I'm using my bed head hard head spray I love this spray like I just started back using this and I don't know why I stopped 
I don't even know, but this was by far super, super good. So I went ahead and blow dried that before I went and put my uh, elastic band on because I don't want the spray to stick to the band and I don't want that white cast to be up on there. So now that that is on, I went ahead and sprayed my hair and detangled it using some water. And I also end up using my Cream of Nature Coconut Milk. This is the Moisturizing Curl uh, Cream and it gets the curls back super bouncy and um juicy i love how this turns out and i just went ahead and brushed that out and uh parted my hair so that way when i get ready and do the style we're good to go i'm kind of messy mm -hmm. i've been having a good day nonetheless i got up early i ate healthy today during the week, I eat healthy, and I feel like on the weekends, I be like, it's free for all, you know? Yeah, am I the only one that do that? I be like, it's cheat day. Girl, every weekend is not cheat day. Let's pick let's, let's pick one weekend, okay? And then we're going to make that the cheat weekend. Not a day, the weekend. I want to take this band off. I know I didn't have it on for long, but I don't care. Here's the ultimate reveal. Look at that. This little piece. That's why I need to keep it on longer. I won't be listening to myself, my intuition. She's locked in. Ain't no switching up. Y'all got it so good. I don't got no reason. I just know that he is. Period. It's gonna be somebody like, I see the legs. It does. We try our best over here on this side. blow dryer on cool air cool air not hot cool all righty so that's all looked in rest like this little parts here I really want this to look like that I grew this hair for my scalp. You know what I mean? So I'm about to do the style. I love it down. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be doing a hairstyle. So um, during this tutorial, you'll see me doing one hairstyle. And eventually I ended up doing a whole nother one. But that is okay because it still turned out good. And I don't know why, but that just moved me to kind of like give you guys some word of encouragement because like sometimes in life we can just do one thing and we think, oh, this is this is the way that we want to do it. And then it doesn't turn out the way we want. And then God will still use the same thing that we're doing and turn into something beautiful still. So just stay encouraged, stay motivated and continue to stay on the path that God wants you to be on. Eventually you'll get there. Don't rush it. Trust it. Okay. Um, and also, like I said, I ended up starting out with one thing, doing one thing and then ended up being a whole nother thing and it still turned out beautiful. So just keep that in mind whenever you're doing something right now or wherever you at in life right now and you're doing one thing, just literally focus on God and I'm telling you it's going to work out so I just thought I should just sprinkle that in there and um <laughs> just encourage somebody out there to just keep doing you boo period and then I'm gonna start separating See how that looks? Look at that. I'm literally just taking my fingers like this and pulling, pulling, pulling. So I'm just having both of my thumbs right there. And I'm just going to pull, pull at the same time on the same spot. So now that I have the braids all done, so right now I'm going to slit down the rest of this hair in the back. 
So you remember I mentioned that I was getting ready to slick my hair down. I just thought I should keep this in here because, you know, most people, they do these tutorials and they don't really show the real deal. But I did not like the way it turned out when I had it in a ponytail. I think the next time I wear this hair, I will possibly do this hairstyle because I should have did that in the first place. I should just put a ponytail in and left it down, the front down, but I didn't. I tried to connect those two braids to the ponytail and it was not looking right. So overall, just go with your first man. <laughs> but it still turned out cute, so. So I ended up not pulling them inside of the, um, the back. I think I just like it better when it's left out. I'm able to have them as like little fishtail bangs. I think that that looks so cute, right? <laughs> I truly hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you again, Adhere uh, Hair, for sending me this beautiful wig. Again, this is a 26 inch jerry curl wig, a 13 by four. I will have the details on this wig located in the description box below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. And as always, please feel free to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. And as always, nevertheless, never stress, always bless. Okay, bye. Ha, ha, ha.